This is not a translator. I'm gonna let her introduce herself to you. I'm Desiree. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. Yeah, this is good. I'm so happy. Oh my God, Phil, how the I'm hell did you do this? Yeah, it's so coming up. Dad Leland's back. He ain't screwing around anymore. Freaking nice bar purge. Good job, man. Oh, Phil, I'm so glad you talked me into this. Oh. Woo! What a way to start the morning breathing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that, man. The big calico bass come out to play around Puna Banda, Baja California, Norte near Ensenada, fishing with Diego Nuno and Costa Baja Sport Fishing. Let's go. Chop, chop. <laughs> Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, and I mean beautiful. It is gorgeous here. The sun is up. It's kind of warm, actually. Look at that beautiful ocean. I mean, it is calm, perfect surf fishing conditions. Hopefully, the native sun and whoever else gets out there today are going to enjoy some good halibut fishing and more here in Southern California. And of course, the Bar Hall Show opened up yesterday to a big crowd and lots of fun. The Trout Pond is being loaded up with more trout for the kids to enjoy. And man, it's great fishing on the long range scene. And in Mexico, we've got it all for you now. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, God, is that good. And is it good to be here with you all, man? Hanging out at the Bart Hall show yesterday was a lot of fun. It's a great one, folks. You're going to enjoy it. Get to see so many friends and visit so many booths and explore so many potential future fishing adventures. Bart Hall show has it all for you at the Long Beach Convention Center today, Saturday, and Sunday, the final day. Get out there and enjoy. Take the kids, 15 and under, I believe it is are free, so you can take the whole family out and enjoy a really wonderful day. If you don't mind, hit that like button, share these videos with a friend, tick the bell. You'll be notified when there is new content, and subscribe to the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel right now. We're on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, on Instagram, TikTok, and of course, Facebook. You can follow us there, and we deeply appreciate it. Last night, the Danny Cadota Show. Danny put on another magnificent show. You can go back in the archives right now and watch Danny's great show. We talked about the Great Barracuda Fishing, the Bart Hall Show. We talked about the potential for a lot more good fishing in the very near future. And, of course, Danny answered everyone's questions. Another great Danny Cadota show last night. All right, my friends, let's jump into it, and let's talk Mexico for a second. Just mentioned to you that San Jose del Cabo, which is located very near Cabo San Lucas, our friend Sean Morgan runs the Wild and Sack there, and he says it's still really good fishing. And only, you know, two, three miles outside of San Jose del Cabo, you start to encounter striped marlin, yellow pintuna, dorado, occasional wahoo. It's been really a great few weeks, maybe even longer than that. It just seems to continue down there. So really good fishing there in that area. Down there in St. Catine area, we continue to see, and that's 140 miles across the border here so 140 miles down you hit tj and then you go down another 140 miles from tijuana and uh they've had yellowtail action they've had great rockfish and of course there is an occasional halibut down there also in the ensenada area as you can see but from our friends at blackfin sport fishing copious amounts of bottom fish whitefish and viejas sheep's head that is and also bocaccios and just a myriad of different types of rockfish, but they've also had those big bonita, and there's been some really good barracuda fishing down there. Early, yes, normally our barracuda will show up in northern Baja and southern California in the spring. March would even be early. April, May, that's when we get our influx of barracuda. So something is going on here, that is for sure, and it could be the effects of the El Nino. Our water temperatures are not abnormally warm, but they're a little warmer than normal, like 60 degrees down in Baja, some 58 degree and 60 degree water around. Here up in the Channel Islands, Pat O'Brien, the great captain of the Aloha Spirit, said they had 60 degree water, and the halibut were spawning up there a little bit early for that. So we are seeing 
signs of an accelerated season in northern Baja and Southern California, and we love that. That sounds good to all of us. Let's get into the long-range scene. The big fish are starting to nibble down there, and I mean some really nice big yellow fish today. The Royal Polaris had one that went 298, just missed the 300-pound mark the other day, but continued really excellent signal on the big fish. Now, not every day is a wide-open day, but here recently they've had some great fishing down there. The XL, David Petruscu. And David, of course, reached fame on Friedman Adventures back in 2012 with the largest yellowfin tuna ever caught, 445 pounds. And David is still doing his thing on board the XL. He had a 238, a 180 here the last couple of days. Really nice big fish on the XL right now. And we are happy to see that. Royal Polaris, Carl Wheeler with a 238-pound YFT. Nice yellowfin to take in on the kite while Brian Boatman had a 191-pounder. Captain Roy Rose says it was a little bit slower yesterday. It wasn't as good as it has been. And they had a lot of that, oh, I want to say 40 to 70-pound yellowfin tuna, but they'll get back on it again. And that's the ebb and flow of these really good bites. I mean, it's not going to be every single day that you get them, but we definitely are seeing those big yellowfin get into the pictures. Now, this is all taking place, in case you're not familiar with the San Diego Long Range Sea, this is all taking place on 16-plus day trips where boats leave from San Diego and they travel several hundred miles into Mexican waters down the Baja Peninsula, and they find those big yellowfin tuna. Now, they focus mostly on that yellowfin tuna, but they're also after wahoo, and on occasion they'll fish grouper and all kinds of other types of fish. But primary focus is on big YFT, and we are starting to see more and more of that as we go along. And also, I should mention that sometimes on the way home, some of the guys will be within 100 miles of San Diego. And the Royal Polaris here recently did this. They went in to the Baja Coast and they caught some really big, beautiful lingcod for a bunch of people on that trip. So there's all kinds of great alternatives and advantages and options, really, is what I should say. And man, I'll tell you, long range scene going very, very well right now. In Southern California, we are continuing to see that wintertime bass bite sculpin and whitefish. There's a little bit of halibut here recently. We haven't seen any big scores. The Native Sun is running a halibut derby, bass derby out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. San Pedro, California. And uh, their last trip, they had one halibut, like about a 15-pound fish. They had a short white sea bass and then a little bit of bass and sculpin to go along with it. They've been saying that their conditions have not been all that great. So hopefully they'll get back to some good conditions and start catching some more fish. And we've seen some good halibut scores up there on the Aloha Square, but recently they've kind of just been picking a few fish here and there. Their best score so far here in 24 was 18 guys with 34 halibut a few weeks ago. Hopefully they'll get back to that. Guys up and down the coast continue to pick off a few bass. We see some decent bass fishing out of Marina del Rey, Redondo, out of well, any landing that wants to focus on fishing structured bass right now, they've been having some decent results with a fish or two per rod. And the guys in the know, the guys that are paying attention to the crew, the guys that are dropping their fluorocarbon down, so if you're not getting a bite on 40 pound, I know you want to fish that 40 because you're near that structure. You're not getting a bite on it, drop down to 25. You know, you can just kind of go down if you want to do it that way, 30, 25, 20. You're going to get a lot more bites on that lighter line. There's no doubt about it. Sometimes you'll get run into the structure, but you'll get a bite. Most of the time, you are accomplishing that bass fishing, getting bites with fresh dead squid, a lead head, or a sliding egg sinker. Usually a big hook is what I like to fish, like a 5-0 hook. Works really, really well on that wintertime bass. So there are those kinds of opportunities right now, and that is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I should mention as I look out there, that uh, gray whale migration is in full swing right now with the gray whales coming from the Bering Sea in the frigid waters of Alaska, moving down the coast into the warm water lagoons of Baja, California, where they calf. So that migration is underway. And yesterday, 
got boats out of Harbor Breeze Cruises in Long Beach ran into those orcas again. Those orcas are here feeding on dolphin, and they have been having a ball doing that, and they are really putting on quite a show. If you're lucky enough to see those things, you will count your blessings because that is an extraordinary opportunity here in SoCal right now. So gray whales and orcas right now in SoCal. All right, let's talk about the surf fishing bite, and this is the perfect day to be fishing surf. You could be fishing with bait, or you could be fishing with artificials. There's some halibut, some yellowfin croaker, some good barb perch fishing. Our good friend Richard Cayo had three barb perch over 10 inches yesterday. Said it was the best session of 2024. The barred perch were biting down around Huntington Beach and the Huntington Beach Pier. He likes to fish the little grubs like the honey badger type baits, and he does really, really well. Richard is a dedicated angler, a super good guy, and he's been having some really great results. So hopefully that is going to continue to head in the right direction. I love it as we continue to see some really good surf fishing. He also had some yellowfin croaker. There's some YFC around here also. And the possibility of a halibut looms very well right now. You can catch some flatties on the, you know, little chrome jigs. I like throwing that crocodile. Even a cast master works well. A lot of guys stick with their lucky crafts. And drop shotting for a halibut is another great way to get it done. So some pretty good fishing. And you better uh, kind of get out and do your thing here. Because Wednesday, it looks like we're going to start, you know, a week of kind of wet weather. It's going to be off and on. We're going to have some wind also. Next uh, weekend, they are forecasting some pretty good wind, like Saturday, Friday, Saturday. So we'll be watching that very, very closely for you all and continuing to monitor. Beautiful weather to do hoop netting for lobster at night. And the lobster hoop netting has been pretty good. Some of the local guys, as I've been saying, like Jason Lawler says, his last few trips have been pretty tough locally. But other guys I've seen doing quite well. And at Catalina Island, you can see some really excellent fishing going on at Catalina Island, or I should say hoop netting. You can take seven lobster per angler right now. And man, I'll tell you right now, that has provided some really fun adventures and some great table fare. There's no question about it. Lobster hoop netting as the tractors are almost mowing me down here. It's so cal. It's really uh, exciting stuff here as the sand replenishment is continuing. And those tractors are really, really loud. So I'm hoping these microphones, these new microphones, are paying off. Really great stuff. Why don't I give you a look at this? These guys are coming by just to kind of let you know what I'm talking about. And they are really good guys doing a lot of good work here in Southern California with the beach replenishment. All right, let me turn this back around and uh, remind you all that I will be up there at the Bart Hall Show today. Looking forward to seeing you all. Oh, hey, I should mention, there's a lot of freshwater fishing going on right now. Of course, trout is underway in the local lakes, and I should say the city lakes, Alondra Park in Torrance, California, Miles Square Park. They are really upping their stocking program so you can catch some trout in those areas. Evan Leeper and his dad went to Hesperia Lake and had a really great session on the trout together. Father and son fishing, I can't think of a better thing. And of course, they turned that into what looks like a culinary masterpiece. So there is still some great trout fishing going on. No question about it. Hey, if you want all the gear you'll need to be successful in the surf, big fish, bait and tackle right here in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California, on the corner of PCH and of course, um, PCH and Seal Beach Boulevard. Uh, you get over there. They've got all the baits you'll need. They've got all the tackle hooks and sinkers and great gear. I mean, gear for trout, in case you are going to go to Lake Hesperia. Gear for big bluefin tuna and marlin. And, of course, at your surf fishing headquarters for Southern California, you can find all the surf fishing rods and reels and tackle. You'll need to be successful on your next surf fishing adventure. Big fish bait and tackle right here in Seal Beach, California. All right, my friends, don't forget, I'll be at the Bar Hall Show. Get out there. I hope to see you there and be able to say hello to you. I am starting a guide service here in the Southern California area. If you want information on that, just send me a text, 
six five. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Six five seven. Man, I'm losing it. Six five seven two two seven six four five nine. Send me a text. I'll put you on the list. And when we get that rolling, I'll send you out the information so you can come down to the beach and learn how to surf fish and really stumble into an affordable, great way to enjoy the great outdoors. All right, my friends, have a great day. And I hope to see you really, really soon. Hey, welcome everybody to beautiful Ensenada, Baja, California, Mexico, and to Botes Juanitos. I want to introduce you to a dear friend of mine, Berenice Cardona Soto. Let's join her in her office in Ensenada, Baja, California, Norte. ¿Cómo está todo? ¿Cómo está la empresa? Y... El negocio va súper bien. Gracias, ah, qué bueno. Gracias a Dios. La pesca el año pasado estuvo muy bien. Por atún de aleta azul. Atún, amarillo y azul. Ajá. Eh, dorado también está muy sí, bueno. Sí, sí. Nos fuimos a los torneos de la baja. Yo sé, este empieza en mayo otra vez. En mayo, ¿verdad? el 10 de mayo es la eh, Bluefin. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. Yo soy muy emocionado de eso. ¿Tienes, quieres unos eh, calcamonías? ¿Cómo no? ¿Quieres? Aquí tengo, mira. De oh, Bluefin. qué bueno. Gracias. Bluefin, Bluefin. Juanitos, es mi. Ajá. Víctor Méndez va a estar muy feliz contigo. Tú conoces a Víctor Méndez, ¿verdad? Sí, mi amigo. ¿Ah, sí? Sí. Víctor, este es por ti. Okay. Aquí este es Pesca del Mar, el que organiza este. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. Y este es en mayo. Entonces. En mayo, 10 de mayo. Ajá, muy bien. ¿Y ahora qué están haciendo ustedes? Ahorita, ¿Pescando o ballenas? Ahorita, o? Sí, solamente he recorrido ballenas, pero estamos yendo nada más aquí a la isla a Bonita. Oh, pero son grandes. Sí, bonitas, grandes visto. y pescado fondo. ¿Y qué tal cabría o calico bass? Sí, poquito, sí, también. Un poco, sí, sí hay. Rock on, siempre. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Vos salís la cerveza. <risa> <risa> ¿Y cómo me gusta tu oficina? Sí. Sí. Ahí está mi equipo. <risa> Mis cañas. <risa> oh, sí. sí. Greg, mira sus cañas. Mis Rosados. Cañas. Ajá, las de Baby. <risa> ¿De su hija? Sí. Ah, qué bueno. ¿Y cuándo era la última vez que pescó ustedes juntos? ¿Hace tiempo? No, mi hija la semana pasada fue a la isla. Ajá. Bueno, solamente bonitas. Y pescado grande, salimos... Ah, ¿sí supiste que ganamos rey, eh, torneo de reinas? Ah, oh, sí, sí, sí. Ganamos torneo de reinas de femenil. Ah, ganamos. muy bien. ¿Y cómo lo fue? ¿Primer lugar? Oh, my God, felicidades. Oh, ¿Tú fuiste a sí, Disney's y, Black and Blue? ¿Y, ¿Y pescó en eso? Eh, no, no sacamos. ¿Solo para ver? No, no, sí pescamos. Ah, es loca de la pesca, ¿verdad? Sí, me encanta. Todos los días quiero... Sí. ¿De veras? Sí, ah, mira. Ah, qué bueno. Me dije yo. That's a good one. Sí, sacamos... ¿Qué Marlin? es eso? ¿A tu, a Marlin, de, Marlin de azul o qué? Rayado. Azul, oh, okay. ajá, azul. Se ve azul. Sí, azul. Muy bien. Perfecto. ¿Y qué más? Uh, ¿Cómo podemos...? Bueno, di, dile a todo el público dónde estás tú. Porque okay. estamos en, cerca del Mercado Negro y del Malecón. Okay. Estamos ubicados en Ensenada, aquí en el Malecón de Ensenada, cerca del Mercado Negro. Este, pues, que les digo que se vengan a pescar en la temporada de atún, que ya comienza para mayo, mayo de 2024. Tengo una pregunta personal. Dime. ¿Está bien? Sí. Listo. ¿Seguro? ¿Segura? Ok. Una mujer uh -huh. en este negocio. Casi siempre es hombre, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Y por qué? ¿Quién enseñó a ti el amor por la pesca? Mi padre. Mi papá. Oh, sí. Qué bueno. Mi papá. ¿Su papá desde su juventud? Sí. Ajá. ¿Y tú a su hija? Y yo a mi hija. Ah, qué bueno. Qué sí. bueno. Muy bien. Muy ¿Algo padre. más que quieres decir a nuestro público? Pues saludos a todos, vengan a pescar a Ensenada 
y pues muy buen amigo y veo tus videos que subes, veo eh, en San Diego que sí. andas allí en, ah, en acción en los barcos, ¿no? Muchas gracias, gracias. Sí. Ok, gracias a todos, gracias. Gracias, bye.